So night vision is becoming pretty common technology and there's a lot of different forms of night vision. So what I'm talking about in this video is just a very basic form, uh, a monocular that you can look through its digital night vision for a few hundred dollars and uh, something that I think is a neat little item if you're looking to just have the capability to see at nighttime but you're not really interested in having a full up military style night vision optic setup or if you're not wanting to have something permanently mounted to your firearm. So this right here, One Leaf AI, this is the Commander Model NV100. Uh, this was sent to me by One Leaf. No money exchanged hands or anything like that. Uh, they sent it to me so that way I could uh, give my thoughts on it and whatnot. And I've had it for a little bit and I messed around with it for a little bit. Uh, and it's a very basic night vision, but I really like it. So first off, uh, I'm going to go into kind of what I would think this would be useful for. So um, if you're an avid camper, outdoorsman, if you hike a lot, if you do all that kind of stuff, uh, I think something like this, if you're not interested in having the real fancy expensive stuff, this will be perfect for you. Uh, I see a really awesome uh, use for this, especially, you know, a campground, campsite in the middle of the night, you hear something bumping around in the woods and you don't necessarily want to turn on a visible light. You can look through this and see what's going on. Uh, as far as tactical uses, yeah, you could use this and I'll show you here. It does have an option to mount onto an optic. But I would think it's better served for a hunting use, not really a tactical use. That's because of the way the IR light is set up and whatnot. It's going to give you give away your position pretty easily. So this is more for you know hunting applications and for just use around the campground. I think even at home, if you're wanting to get through your house at night, you don't have any lights for whatever reason, uh, you can use this or whatnot. If you just want to go out and explore in your backyard or wherever, and you just want to see what's going on at nighttime, this is perfect. So first off, uh, let me pop open the box here. The box right here, let me uh, show you. I figure this will be an easy way to do it. So there's the specifications right there. I figure it's easier just to do that versus naming everything off. That way you can stop the video and you can look at everything and see all the specs. So um, this night vision, I mean, it's pretty in-depth. That's one thing I like about the manual here. It gives you a lot of different, um, a lot of different information on how to mount this thing and, and all the different settings that it has. It has a pretty good menu in it. Um, to turn it on, all you have to do is hit the power on button here. Now, if you can see inside there. In fact, I'll try and hold it up to the camera here. I'll do my best here to hold it up. So I don't know if you can see. There you go. Even with the lights on, you can kind of see. But there it is, kind of powered up. And it has a good menu on it. It has six IR settings. This is your IR floodlight right here. It has six settings, one through six. And I'll try and put that up on the screen here. It's pretty good. You can adjust the focus of it from a floodlight down to more of a more of a pinpoint beam. It does have a laser right here. I don't use a laser a whole lot, but it does have an IR laser. So if that's your thing, if you feel you have a use for that, then uh, you have a laser to do it with. It has your adjustment right here. This is your manual focus adjustment on this. So that way you can adjust near or far. It does have an adjustment back here as well, so that way you can fine tune. And then here is your port right in here for your uh, USB hookup and whatnot, which is this right here, micro USB to USB. These things right here, so these things right here, they are to hook on to an optic. So all I would do is would attach this piece right here. This would go over the rear of an optic and you can tighten it down. It does come with some tape or whatnot if you want to wrap that around and give it a little bit more of a tight fit or whatnot. You can do so. Uh, it's a little clumsy in my opinion, but uh, if that's what you want to do, especially if you're hunting or something, then that's a good deal right there. And it does have, let's see, it has the 45, 42, and 48. So I believe that covers a good amount of the more common popular uh, hunting optics that are out there. 
So that's something you could do. I my use for this is I won't really I won't use these. I'll just use this itself and pack it in a bag. This is the little bag that it comes with that you can shove it in. Uh, the overall quality of this is pretty good. The lens quality is good. How they designed it, it holds easily in hand. And the all the functions right here are very easy to get to. So no issues there. You can record, you can take pictures, um, and you could download it later on. So that's kind of an awesome thing. Um, you can zoom as well along with the IR functions. And overall, I've found that, uh, you know, just playing around with it in my backyard and whatnot, that's pretty good for a basic night vision. I think where this shines is kind of more up close. Uh, it does pretty good at distance, but up close, if you're really looking into details on something, if you're looking to find small little animals or whatnot, then I, I think that's where this really, really does a good job. It's only a few hundred dollars, so it's not that expensive. The price will vary a little bit depending on which website you go to. If you go to Amazon, uh, you see these on Amazon. Um, overall, you know, something like this, again, it's not the most tactical thing. Uh, it's not really meant for that. It's not a type of night vision that you're going to throw onto a helmet or anything like that. This is just something that gives you that capability to have a type of night vision and be able to hunt or look around your campsite or even look around your backyard or what have you. So definitely check it out if you're not wanting the more expensive stuff. I like it. I dig it. And one thing to note here, it also does have a little spot if you want to put this onto a tripod. It'll screw right in so that way you don't have to worry about holding it so much. You could put on a bipod tripod type setup for a camera and you can go ahead and make video or check things out and, and all that good stuff. So overall for an entry level, I dig it. And I haven't charged the battery yet. I've had this for a little while and I've been using it off and on just at nighttime messing around and I haven't had to charge it yet. So that's kind of a good thing. I like that. I like the fact that it didn't just loses charge right away you can change out the battery you just unscrew this and you can change it out uh, but it does recharge so in any case the commander nv100 it's a pretty decent little piece uh if you're looking for just that basic night vision capability you know i know there's other models out there and i've I, i've researched some i haven't really i know that there's some other budget optics out there that make these uh, I haven't went with those because the reviews are kind of bad, but I've seen a lot of good reviews on this, and that's kind of how I like to base things. If you look at the overall reviews, if most of them are good, that's good for the product. If most of them are bad, then that might be bad for the product. So um, if you're looking for something basic, yeah, sure, check these guys out. Uh, they got on Amazon. They have the uh, these available. I've seen them on Amazon. So definitely a good little thing to look into. And with that said, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think on these little pieces. Uh, again, if you're a prepper or something like that, this might be something good to have. It is pretty dependent, like any night vision is, pretty dependent on battery life and whatnot. So long-term logistics with something like this, you may have to work with it a little bit, but um, for preppers and whatnot, this is a great deal. So, all right, thanks a lot for watching. As always, stay safe out there.